Welcome everyone, I am Sherry and this is Me Now. Thank you all for being here with me through this journey. This week is about making healthy changes. We are coming to the end of chapter two, so I'm going to hopefully get the last of the health helpful videos wrapped up for everyone. This first slide is stress busters. One reason people resist change is because they focus on what they have to give up instead of what they have to gain. All too often, we tend to see things on the negative side instead of viewing the positive. If we try a little more to see the positive in situation, we often find that more and more positive things will become more apparent to us. The next slide is fats in foods. We do need fats in our bodies in order for it to run well. Therefore, the goal is not to cut out the fats, but to choose more of the healthier fats and less of the unhealthy fats. For instance, with the meats, choose more lean cuts, but they don't have to be zero fat because some fats are important to have and the proteins are very important indeed. Next, we have the topic of eggs, eating eggs. The way I view this one is that if you're a person who eats one to two eggs a day, then it's not worth switching to egg whites. Otherwise, you lose all the minerals and vitamins that are important in the yolks. However, if you're a person who eats, say, a half a dozen eggs or more a day, then I think maybe switching to egg whites and getting those other minerals from other foods to lower your cholesterol is probably a good option. This next slide gives a comparison of low fiber diet and how tweaking a few items in the diet can make it a high fiber diet without feeling like you have to revamp everything. Small changes do make big differences. <laughs> now for the sodium chat. So this one is big for me and I was happy to learn that all those years growing up and being told that my salt shaker habit was so bad, it actually only contributes to a small amount of our sodium intake. Okay, for me, it was probably closer to 25% and I have cut that down tons but still to learn that most of our sodium problems actually come from takeout and preserved foods was a big thing. Pasta sauces, mac and cheese, Mr. Noodle, ready-made meals. We live in a world where all too often we only have time to work and sleep and eating takes a back seat. Therefore, we buy takeout because we are too tired to cook. Uh, or we throw something in the microwave or the oven because it's fast and we can eat and crash and do it again tomorrow. Cooking food from scratch can be done without it taking forever. There are lots of quick meals, but it takes a bit of time to seek them out and learn them. Very worth the time though. The next four slides are on uh, physical activity and they give different examples about what kind of energies are exerted doing different activities. 
to sum them up though, what I gather most from my doctors is that you want to make sure that you are doing a regular bit of middle ground exercise. It's the middle ground that does the most good for your body. So long as you are feeling it working in your body, then you are making progress and your body will improve accordingly. If you are pushing yourself to hurting your body, you're not exactly helping yourself. Hurting isn't helpful. Last, there are some great ways to prepare food that are even fairly fast as well. Grilled, grilling is a great choice as it allows any grease to drip away from the food and it also adds incredible flavor to anything. Um, steaming food is great too. Using steam allows more flavor, minerals, and vitamins to stay in the food rather than getting boiled and rinsed away. Um, when you're frying your food, use healthier oils like olive oil, etc. Sometimes it's the little changes that make the biggest difference and they are often the easiest changes to make. Well everyone, that's all I have for this week. I know it was kind of a jumble of points, but we are getting to the end of the chapter and next chapter is going to be a whole different focus again. Have a wonderful weekend and a great week, everyone. I am Sherry on Me Now, signing off until next week.